we turn to the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line right now. The Mr. Bracketology himself, kind enough to join us amidst a busy March Madness Friday in advance of the brackets coming out for the big dance writ large. Joe Lenardi back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, Joseph? I am great, Rich. It's great to talk to you as always. And uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, baseball, football, and even a little college basketball in the news. I do love it. I do love it. Even though I just want to just front up, just straight out, Joe, I will shoot you straight. Even though you're my third guest today and you're in the third hour, you're a quad one guest to me, just so you understand. Wow. That. You're a quad one <laughs> guest. And you're, you know, because I, I just got a note that said, as a, as a host, you yes. were first four out. Oh, no. <laughs> That you must have got a note from management back in 2003 there at ESPN. That must have been. That, I don't that know must be. That, that must be. That must be a 19-year-old note you found in a drawer, <laughs> desk drawer there in Bristol. Nope. 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 I'm. I'm. I'm still. You know. Always feel happy to be on with you. you know, this, this summer I played golf a couple times with Rever. Did oh. Rev Big Ten Network. So you know. Fantastic. We old guys. We got to stick together. Well, Re uh, it was great to see uh, Dave Revson, uh, albeit not uh, delivering the, the proper news yesterday. Uh, my alma mater getting bounced in the first game that they played in the Big Ten tournament. Uh, tell me about Michigan. I'm just going to go straight to my own personal interest before going writ large with you. Uh, is Michigan in or out, do you think, right now? They're going to make it. I would say at this moment, about 60 40 to not have to play in the opening round oh. in Dayton. Uh, but we will see how that goes. I seem to be a little bit in the minority and maybe overrating them more than most. Uh, may maybe might have something to do with the whole Lenardi Martelli thing. <laughs> uh, but 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 I'm, I'm I'm certainly trying not to have that come into play. Uh, I, I just think you know we keep comparing Michigan to last year and to its own preseason expectations as opposed to the other bubble teams that they're competing with, right? And when you do that, they look a lot better. All right, so who are the other bubble teams that they're competing with then, Joe? Well, Wyoming, Xavier, Wake Forest, now Indiana, which has just posted Huge. another big win, even bigger than yesterday, yep. against Illinois. Uh, y you know, some of those teams are going to go to Dayton, maybe one or two that currently out but surging like a Virginia Tech or an Oklahoma. Uh, Texas A&M is trying to put the finishing touches on Auburn. Uh, and, and then we'll hear, well, or I'm sorry, Texas A&M will hear, what does that mean for A&M? The real story is it might cost Auburn a one seat. Uh, you, you, you know, in the, in the drive for show, putt for dough category, you, you, you got to focus on, you know, the top because we're all going to worry about upsets and double digit seeds and 12, five and all that. And, you know, I'm as vulnerable to doing that as anyone. But three, four weeks from now, when we're talking Sweet 16, Final Four, those are the scenarios at the very top, among the top two, three, four lines that matter the most. Okay. So, Joe Lenardi, ESPN bracketologist here on the Rich Eisen Show. So, the um, the bubbles teams you've just, you've just expressed – and then who, the, everything you just said then um, is assuming we're not going to see some team go on a run for the ages and cut down a conference tournament net that is the only path for them to get into the bracket, right? That's the only Right, so, so let me give you net. the math right now, right, right. now. Uh -huh. and, and, and there's going to be all this talk on the air by analysts and even myself, mm -hmm. I believe – that there are two spots in play, two. That's it. Currently held by Xavier and Wake Forest. And there are an unusually high number, at least in my view, of, of teams in hot pursuit chasing those two spots. Uh, a, it's unusual to only have two up for grabs at this point. And B, it's scary because in your scenario – you know, if, 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 I don't know, uh, uh, UMass wins the Atlantic 10 tournament, well, then it's one spot, right? If, if, hmm. you know, if, 
somebody comes from off the board, if Colorado wins the Pac-12 tournament. Yeah, uh, you know that's a spot. If, if Texas A&M runs the table now in in Tampa at the SEC tournament, that's the spot. So, so it, it could be that the committee's work at the end of the line is closer to being done than their process would even allow them to realize at this point. How about that? Because uh, because they're following like a a very methodical, very necessary, very a kind of checks and balances way to get to the finish line of balancing the the auto bid winners and the available at larges, uh, and and that line can and will move all the way through sometimes even to Sunday afternoon. But I have the luxury being a committee of one, yes, of peeking ahead, right, mm-hmm. and and trying to envision the scenarios, and it looks to me that. We're already running out of real estate. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fascinating as we're watching all this. You think there's just barring nobody coming out of the blue like a bolt of lightning flying the ointment, whatever you want to say. Um, there's only two spots really that are, are kind of on uh, shaky ground. Uh, and I, that's that's yeah, kind and, of and, wild. And for me, mm-hmm. you know, just again, back of the envelope from years past, what do I remember? We're usually not at that stage, I don't think, at lunchtime on Friday. Uh, Which, of course, means I'm probably way, way off. And, you you know, the Miami Dolphins are going to be the last team. (laughs) Uh, Who knows? Maybe this is a year of a curveball in the dirt. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.